And we're back for Popper. It is day one, and we have all of these beautiful decks to try out. 39, although some of those are multiple decks grouped into one, like uh, Golgarian Jund, or three different flavor layers of uh, three different flavors of fairies down here. But anyways, I uh, don't know jack about Popper or how it plays. I mean, obviously I've done some research into it, but haven't played a game of Popper in years. And the thing I'm looking forward to most is <gasps> there's no Blood Moon, Urza Saga, Free Spells like Fury, Subtlety, Solitude, Grief and Scam, Days, Force of Vigor, Force of Negation, Merc Tide, DRC, Ragavan, Ring. There's no Fetches, Bow, Master Karn, Three Fairy, Narsket, Minx and Boo, Hull, Breacher, Opposition, Agent, Chrome, Mox, Mox, Diamond Soul, Lands, Dark Depths, Wasteland, Back to Basic, Stifle, and Trinisphere, Chalice of the Void, Stacks in General, Cascade, Yogmoth, Hammer, Besage, You Companions, Amulet of Vigor, Renin Six, Beanstalk, Thought Seas, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, Nykthos, Mayhem, Devil, Lotus Field, Curious Obsession, Treasure Cruise, and no Initiative, Monarch, and Cyclers from Lord of the Rings. Oh, wait. So let's spin the wheel. Familiars. How much did I practice that? Not at all. First take. All right, so this is Familiars. I guess it gets its name from Sunscape Familiar, which is this wall thing over here that is a 2 mana 0 3 with Defender. Green spells and blue spells you cast cost one less to cast. So let's see. A couple of things to break down about the Popper format before we begin. There are no rares, and there are no mythic rares, and there are no uncommons, which means that in general we don't have sweepers, I mean sort of. There are sweepers, but they're not like Wrath of God type sweepers. They're more like everything takes two damage, or everything gets minus two. So they're not like full-on get actually get rid of everything sweepers. There are no gigantic rare bomb cards, which means that a lot of the strategies that are in, that are in non-popper just don't exist. And even the ones that do, like Reanimator, have far less good bombs to reanimate there's a lot less like consistency in what you can do the land bases are really bad with mediocre lands in a lot of them which means decks usually cannot expand beyond three colors in fact i don't think any of the decks on the list are more than three colors and there's a ton of aggro decks and just looking over the decks in general it feels like they feel like really optimized draft decks is what they feel like to me but i'll see how they actually play out so uh yeah sunscape familiar so I guess this is a blue-white control deck? That's what it looks like. So to go through the things one at a time, so Ash Barons, we've got our Cycle Land here. We've got Zorius Chancery, yet we get to play Bounce Lands and not Amulet Titan. Broker's Hideout, Idyllic Beachfront, just straight up ETB tapped dual land. Then bunches and bunches of islands, two planes. There's a Mortuary Mire in here for some reason. Put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. Then two Ephemerates. God Pharaoh's Faithful, whenever you cast a blue, black, or red spell, so blue, you gain one life, and it's an 0-4, so it can block the aggro decks. Ponder, Preordain. Brainstorm is legal in this format, but because there's no fetch lands, it's way worse. One Destroy Evil. Four copies of Snap, which are mono-positive when you have Sunscape Familiar in play. The Modern Age, a saga that says you loot on the first two chapters, and then it comes back as a flying 2-3. Counterspell. One Ghostly Flicker, Archaeomancer, get an instant or sorcery back from the graveyard, Deep Anal, Mole Drifter, and Lorien Revealed. So I guess the end state of this deck is trying to do the Ghostly Flicker loop, which is you have, Arca you have Archaeomancer, Ghostly Flicker, slash Ephemerate, and another spell. So you get to go Archaeomancer, Ghostly Flicker it, the Archaeomancer gets back the Ghostly Flicker, and you also get to untap one of your lands, right? So like if you have multiple familiars in play, you can play this basically for one mana and then you can untap a land. So you get to flicker over and over, I guess, or uh, flicker this and get back. You can like flicker other things as well. So if like you have two Archaeomancers in play, you can flicker them both. One gets back ghostly flicker. The other one gets back another spell. Or you can do the Ephemerate loop with Archaeomancer the same way that you do Ephemerate plus E-Witness in other formats. So I guess this is like a very go long control deck where the end state is to try to set up flicker ephemerate loops and then eventually just churn through cards and outvalue your opponent and then I guess kill them very, very slowly with the modern age, I guess is what this deck's trying to do. Sideboard, Circle of Protection Blue. Don't see that every day. There's a bunch of blue aggro decks running around. Last Breath, more anti aggro. Prismatic Strands, this is a card that shows up everywhere in Popper. Three mana, prevent all damage that sources of the color of your choice would deal this turn. Flashback, tap an untapped white creature you control. So it's a fog for two turns. Dust to dust, get rid of two artifacts. Hydroblast, negate. The fourth counter spell, 
and then nature's chant which i was trying to figure out why in the world this is this version of disenchant and then i was like oh yeah sunscape familiar makes green spells cheaper anyways that's familiars hopefully i don't bungle this too much seeing as it's my first popper match so let's jump into the first league all right, we're on the draw for round one. This hand does not look keepable, so mold this. All right, three lands with fixing. Sure, keep. Don't know what I'm supposed to put back here. Potentially this land, because I can cycle Lorien Revealed anyway. It's, it's one of these two, I think. So I'll just put back Beachfront. All right. Oh, I love being able to F6 through my opponent's turn because I don't have to represent free spells. Feels so good. Ooh, Zora's Chancery. All right, Plains, God Pharaoh thingy. Pass to them. Great Furnace. So it's Kaldotha Red. Dwarven Forge Chanter. Ward, pay two life, prowess. All right, so I can probably block that. I feel like I should spend all my mana. All right, hmm. So Island, Preordain. Yield to this trigger. Right, 21, then Preordain resolves. Well, I'm assuming I want these, so I guess I'm going to keep them both. Top, top, draw this. And then if I don't want to draw Archaeomancer for whatever reason, I can cycle Ash Barons. Right, let's pass to them. Another mountain. Attacking. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. All right. Well, if you cast, I mean, I guess that they can bolt this. I mean, that's fine. All right. One damage. Chain lightning. Sure. Maybe I'm not supposed to block so that I can like have snap open or counter spell open. I don't know. Haven't played enough popper. Okay. I feel like I'm supposed to have counter spell up now slash snap. So let's cycle Ash Barons for an island. Play the island. Go. Monastery Swift Spear. Okay. Another land. If they don't cast another spell here, I'm just going to allow this and then snap end of turn, I guess. 19. Maybe I don't even snap. I can always just snap and then still have counter spell up. So yeah, we're good. All right, let's play this Azorius Chancery and bounce the planes. Azorius Chancery, trigger, bounce this, back to them. I probably want to cast Lorien Revealed on my turn, so I should interact with them this turn. Swing. Okay. 17. All right, let's snap. Man, snapping a Swift Spear seems so bad. How much damage can we potentially take? Like, let's say they untap and cast three spells, which are burn. Then that's plus six, plus six to plus eight here, depending on what they do. So I could just die if I cast Lorien Revealed, right? Snapping Monastery Swift Spear seems terrible. I'm not under a lot of pressure right now. Let's just, yeah, keep playing lands. They've stopped me on my upkeep. They just want to cast Burn Spell. Ooh, double counter spell. All right, play an island, and I don't want to tap out. Let's just pass to them. I guess I can snap and untap the Chancery as one of my lands, right? So I go up one mana by casting Snap. So I can snap next turn and cast Chancery while, and cast uh, Revealed while still having Counterspell open. Swing with the Swift Spear and the Chant, and the this guy, Chanter. All right, we're at 15. All right, back to us. Ooh, the Modern Age. All right, well, let's tap here, tap here, snap Swift Spear, untap this and this, and then we go tap this, this, and this. I'm probably just still gonna cast Lorien Revealed. This, cast Lorien Revealed. Draw three. We've got Destroy Evil. We can't cast it. I don't want to go Shields down. I'm probably just countering Swift Spear, right? So let's just pass. Swift Spear, counter. All right, we are officially Shields down. Can we die to three mana plus this thing? Reckless Impulse, probably not. Exiling Lava Dart and another Impulse. So that's potentially two, four, six damage. Not enough to kill us. And then we can start playing stuff out. Another Mountain. Cast Kaldotha Rebirth, Sacking the Furnace. Plays Lava Dart, gets Prowess. We go to 14, then Swings, we go to 10. Okay, I probably want to play a land here. I have six mana, two, three, four, five, six. I can't cast Moldrifter without Evoke with, and still hold a multiple mana open. So, but I also need to block all of this stuff. Hmm. I can destroy evil on this thing the moment they cast any spell, and they're going to cast this. So I take, I go to eight by doing that, and then they still have three tokens, and Archaeomancer can block them. So if I cast Preordain, I have to find a land in the top three cards, or else I can't play Archaeomancer plus have destroy evil open. So the correct move is probably Archaeomancer back a snap, and then we get to go snap a token, kill this, and then this can block a token. All right, let's go with that. So tap this, this, and this. Cast Archaeomancer. Targeting, snap. And then pass to them. I assume they're going to cast this this turn. Like, they don't want to lose it, right? I guess if I'd snapped on my turn, I technically could have untapped the Chancery in another land and cast Preordain and still had... No, because the Chancery has to be one of those lands. So if I want to cast Counterspell... All right, yeah. So Reckless Impulse. Grow this. Impulse into another Reckless Impulse and Implement of Combustion. Cast Implement. I'm just going to yield to this. 
So the implement takes us down to nine if they stack it. Swing, swing, swing. All right, so uh, wait, I need to snap first. So snap on a token. I guess they can counter it by like bolting their own token, which is fine. Or yeah, lava dart your own token, sure. Hmm, do I just block the more damage then? We're going to five and then we're very susceptible to removal spells, although this has to get be gotten rid of at some point. They also have three cards in their hand already. Hmm, all right, let's chump here. Take two, go to eight. Not having God Pharaoh's faithful round is a big problem. Yeah, maybe I just should not have blocked earlier. Exiles another Forge Chanter and Synthesizer via the Impulse. All right, back to us. Kind of need to draw lands at this point and removal. All right, let's ponder. There's Sunscape Familiar, and it is a decent enough blocker. All right, so... Oh, this gains us life as well. So this, this, this. No Shuffle. Draw the Familiar. Play the Familiar. I probably just have to kill this thing, right? So I have to have the mana open to cast Destroy Evil. Make sure to play around Fire Blast. I think we're just too low at this point. I really, really need to draw God Pharaoh's Familiar or just like other removal spells. All right, let's play Modern Age. I think I'm just too low on life at this point. So trigger this, draw, and then we discard. I'm not actually sure. Lorien reveals four mana if this survives, but then we just don't have enough mana to do anything. Hmm. I think I do actually just discard Lorien Revealed. All right, discard that. Play Broker's Hideout, trigger. So this will bring us up to nine, but we're de facto at eight due to implement. So I always have to take that into account. Probably just want more blue sources, right? All right, pass to them. All right, cast Synthesizer, Prowess. Synthesizer exiles a mountain, sure. Chain Lightning us, nothing we can do about that. All right, so we're down to, yeah, can't replay that. So we're at six. We're gonna be at four when we destroy evil this thing, which means we die to Fire Blast, but what can you do? Swing, swing, swing. All right, destroy this. All right, well, if they got Fire Blast, we're dead. So block here. Also, if they just have any Bolt, we're dead because we're also taking one from this Goblin token. All right, are we dead? Yeah, Chain Lightning. All right, okay, so I want Hydro Blast, uh, Last Breath, probably the Fog, question mark, and I assume Counterspell in the gate, although I'm not really sure. What is cuttable? I have no idea. Snap seems atrocious in this matchup. Like, we're snapping either a token that's one of three, or we're snapping, like, one and two mana creatures that they can just replay, and some of which have haste. So I get rid of that. It should just be, like, my slow stuff, right? Definitely want life gain. Uh, cut some cantrips. No idea what I'm doing. Deep anal seems um, not great, especially when we have to pay life to flash it back. This guy also seems super slow and bad. Like, I assume by the time we actually get our Kaomancer loops going, we've basically already won the game. All right, let's do that. Submit. I guess this is more than just a fog, right? It stops damage, period, so it also stops uh, burn spells. All right, on the play. So, God Pharaoh's Faithful, super important in this matchup. This hand looks awesome. Let's keep this. All right, Plains, God Pharaoh, go. Mountain. Cast Voldaren Epicure. All right, we go to 19. Island, play the Modern Age. Trigger this thing, go up to 20. Trigger this thing. Discard, don't know. Um, I'll discard Ash Barons. And then over to them. So, lesson learned, do not block. Play Swift Spear. Hold off the Rebirth. Okay, well, they're putting the pressure on here. I guess I do block. Swing, swing. Block Swift Spear. We're at 19. Back to us. Draw, trigger. What am I ditching? All right, a second Modern Age can go. Let's play land. Let's just kill this before they can like double prowess it and then i still have hydro blast open all right over to them and then we get this other blocker next turn experimental synthesizer yeah let's just kill that counter red spell we go to 20. all right so if i block here and they have a bolt then they just bolt this so let's just not block all right no blocks we're we'll going to 16. reckless impulse for galv blast plus voldaren all right this triggers and comes back as a two three so I just need to guarantee lands here, so I think the best play is cycle this for an island, evoke Moldrifter. All right, cycle, land, play this, evoke Moldrifter, trigger, Moldrifter triggers, draw two cards, two more lands, all right, and then over to them. I know I just pitched a bunch of cards, but I assume that's what you're supposed to do in this matchup. So they can, if I block anything with Vector Glider, blast it, but that's fine. I can't just not block forever, so cast another Epicure. <laughs> Still three cards in hand. All these impulses do make these red decks able to keep up, eh? Swing, 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 swing. I probably do just have to start blocking. I still think it's probably correct not to block with Faithful, though. All right, block there. So they're blasting it, and then it dies, and we take three and go to 13. 
plays Implement of Combustion. Wait, they have Implement of Combustion? So they could have played that pre-Galvanic Blast and just blasted one of our guys. All right, whatever. Okay, so Preordain. Trigger this to gain life. And what are we drawing? So we've got the lands down now. Destroy Evil, which is not great on this board. And Azorius Chancery. So I think I probably just want to bottom both of these. Drawing another Ash Barons. All right. Well, hmm. Let's play the Modern Age. Trigger this. Then trigger the Modern Age. We loot. This is so bad. All right. Well, discard Ash Barons. Then let's play Chancery. Pick up a tapped land. And then back to them. And then I guess I will cycle this Ash Barons just to thin the deck. Implement a Combustion. We go to 14. Can I afford to continue not blocking these guys? Another Epicure. I don't think so. I think I do have to start blocking them. Monastery Swift Spear. Well, they only have one card left in their hand. If it's a Bolt, it's a Bolt. All right, block Swift Spear. Okay, so we go to nine, and then what? No action from them. All right, cycle this Ash Barons. Let's grab the other planes, and then we need this loot to be really good. Plus our land draw. Oh, they do have a Bolt. All right. Well, there goes God Pharaoh's Faithful, and now their board is too wide to really deal with. Hydro Blast. Okay. Loot into Preordain. So let's get rid of a land. Then let's Preordain. Need a blocker. Negate Ephemerate. Neither of those are good here. So bottom both of these. Draw another land. Um, I probably just blast this now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Blast the Swift Spear. Then play another Chancery. Pick up an island. Over to them. So we take five, go to four, and then we flip this one blocker, and then we need to draw really well. They also get two rummages via the bloods. All right, take five, go to four. They drew chain lightning. Pretty sure we're dead now. We drew counterspell. Yeah, we're dead. All right. Well, I don't know how I could have played that better, although I'm sure I could have. I'm assuming, let's see, the mistake in match one was trading the god pharaoh's faithful, and the mistake this match was probably ditching all of my card draw so soon. And I guess I could have just blocked, but then, like, I could have just blocked with the God Pharaoh's Faithful this game and then just accepted that they had a bolt because they didn't have a, either they were holding onto that bolt for a really long time or they only drew it later. Well, I'm sure I'll become more accustomed to this format and all the play patterns. Yeah, Rebirth wrecks this deck. It seems so. Like, this deck seems to just not have any way to deal with a go wide board. Are there no sweepers at all that you can play in blue white in this format? Only black and red have sweepers? All right, so we're on the play for round two. This hand, let's see, what is the, I go land, chancery, and then the next turn I have land, snap, untap, go up one mana, cast deep analysis. Is that good enough? I guess maybe. All right. Uh, land, over to them. I guess I just cycle Ash Barons, right? Dross Forge Bridge. All right, cycle this, go grab another island. Ooh, God Pharaoh's Faithful. All right, let's play that. Over to them. I could have sworn that white had some like really crappy minus one sweepers. Holy Light is the only white sweeper. Is Holy Light popper legal? It is. Non-white creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Yeah, you could play this. So Skirk Prospector. I'm not familiar enough with the format to know what this is, although I assume I should know based on these two cards here. So is the correct move just hold Counterspell up? I guess so, right? It's Goblin Combo. That's what I figured. All right, I guess I just hold up Counterspell, right? So if I understand it correctly, the Goblin combo isn't actually an infinite combo. It's just a repeatable combo for however much mana you have. Another Skirk Prospector. Oh, I guess it is infinite if you have Skirk in play. Um, man, snapping one of these feels so bad. All right, let's just not do that. Another God Pharaoh's Faithful. All right, so God Pharaoh's Faithful, and then Chancery the Plains back to my hand. And then pass, continue to hold up Counterspell. So just holding up Counterspell forever. Somehow they only have one land also. All right, uh, still one turn away from able, being able to use Deep Anal, so let's just play a land and pass. Sack Skirk, cast Iker Wellspring. Yeah, that's fine, sure. Iker Wellspring, you can draw a card. Somehow they just still haven't found any lands, eh? Clean up stuff. Discarding Ruins Grim Search. All right, well, land, Deep Anal. Tap this one, this one, this one. Trigger, trigger, always yield to the life gain. Draw two cards. We drew Island and another Counter Spell. All right, back to them. Vault of Whispers, they finally found their second land. Ooh, another Deep Anal. All right, let's do that. Deep Anal. This one, this one, this one. Opponent. Deadly Dispute the Iker Wellspring. Do I counter this? I don't think so. I think I just let them have it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we drew some more stuff. So let's play a land. And then next turn we get to run out Sunscape Familiar, I guess. So let's just pass back to them. How many prohibits you in the 75 do you have? I don't think any. Nope, zero. 
Great Furnace, Duress Us. Very well, sir. We have two counter spells. You may duress us. Took one of our counter spells. All right, no actions from them. They have to go to cleanup again. So discarding Masked Vandal. Ooh, we drew Lorien Revealed. All right, so tap this, cast Sunscape Familiar. And then can't really tap out for this thing. So I guess I can tap out for it if I snap this, unless they sack it, but then that's fine. All right, let's snap this guy. Will they sack their Skirk Prospector? Probably not. All right, untap these two. All right, let's just cast Sleep Analysis. Target me, spend a single blue mana, gain some life. Man, one mana, draw two, lose one. Pretty good. Another Sunscape Familiar. Well, all right then. So um, I probably am not going to use any more white spells this turn, and I need the maximum amount of blue open that I can. So let's just play this Sunscape Familiar for all the white mana. Then cast Deep Analysis, gain some more life, draw some more cards. Another God Pharaoh's Faithful. All right, well, still didn't draw land out of all of that. So let's Preordain, gain some more life. All right, I don't want another Ephemerate, and this is fine, I guess. So draw this, play a land, play another Preordain. Modern Age Faithful. All right, don't need this. This cycles at least. So put that on top, draw that, and then pass back to them. Still holding up a counter spell. End of turn, Deadly Dispute. Yeah, that's fine. I assume the cards I have to counter are Putrid Goblin and First Day of Class, and everything else is, can resolve. Sir Prospector, sure. First Day of Class. I mean, I don't actually need to cat. I don't need to counter this until they actually put Putrid Goblin into play, right? They don't even have a... No, they have Putrid Goblin in their graveyard. Yeah, all right, let's just counter this. So if they have, like, double on Earth, they could just get through it if I don't counter this right now. All right, so they're not doing anything else. Back to us. Ooh, we drew another counter spell. Excellent. All right, so this is three mana, and we see more cards than Modern Age. So let's just go this, this. Should I even play? Does God Pharaoh's Faithful even matter in this matchup? It doesn't, right? If they combo, they combo. So yeah, all right, let's just cast this. Draw some cards, gain some life. Resolve Lorien Familiar, or Lorien Revealed. Okay, we have our Chaomancer, which costs two mana, and can get back another counter spell, which gets around them having hand disruption. So let's play our Chaomancer. Let's see. So Archaeomancer, and then I start Ephemerate craziness. Yeah, so Archaeomancer, trigger, this resolves, get back Counterspell. And then I haven't played a land this turn, so let's just play this land. And then pass, and then we'll go to clean up and discard God Pharaoh's Faithful. Bloodfell Caves, sure. All right, no actions from them. Let's Ephemerate Archaeomancer, end of turn. So I assume we win this game, but just very, very, very slowly. Yeah, Deadly Dispute's fine. That resolves. Ephemerate trigger or get back another counter spell. So just playing fast as possible, you'll time out playing familiars. Rebound, always yes to rebound. Targeting Archaeomancer, flicker, get back ephemerate, draw for turn. All right, I got to start killing them with Mold Drifter, right? So let's go. Mold Drifter only costs three. So tap this, tap this, cast Mold Drifter, trigger, 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 draw for turn. Um, Modern Age still lets me hold up two counter spells. Draw, discarding, oh, what's irrelevant in this matchup? Destroy evil seems completely irrelevant. Let's get rid of that. I do need to kill them somewhat quickly. So play Chancery, trigger, get this back. Let's snap my own Archaeomancer. Trigger, resolve this, untap the two Chanceries, then play Modern Age. That way th these will flip over faster so we actually have a clock. Discarding, uh, preordains, fine, that can go. All right, let's just pass and then discard Mortuary Mire, I guess. Cast Rowan Grim Search. Yeah, let's counter that. Putrid Goblin. Let's counter that too. Counter that. Use the Floating Mana to basic cycle the Ash Barons for another island. Ephemerate my Mold Drifter. Trigger. Draw some cards. All right. Ephemerate Rebound. Uh, how, why can't I say yes? Oh, there we go. Target Mold Drifter. All right. Draw some cards. And these both trigger. We draw. We discard. Ash Barons is fine. Or Broker's Hideout. Trigger. Draw. Ash Barons. All right, Island, let's cast another Modern Age so we get the clock going faster. Trigger, get rid of Chancery, or Planes, I guess. Not chan yeah, Planes. Cast Archaeomancer, getting back Ephemerate, then Ephemerate the Archaeomancer, getting back Counterspell, and then let's cast this Mold Drifter. Trigger, draw some more cards, snap here, untap to Chanceries, hmm. All right, let's just pass at this point, and then we'll discard some lands I don't need. Another Chancery. All right, and next turn, we can start getting the Flying Beats in. Rowan's Grim Search. Sure. Only going to counter the cards that actually kill us, so at this point. So Rowan's Grim Search resolves. Iker Wellspring. Sure. 
plays Rakdos, Carnarium, sure. At this point, I'm not going to blink the Mold Drifters anymore, so let's just, when we rebound Ephemerate, blink just some irrelevant creature. They discard a Swamp. All right, blink a thing, doesn't matter. Modern Age trigger, draw, discard, this thing, flip this, flip this, play a land, play Archaeomancer, Archaeomancer, ETB, trigger, get back Ephemerate, Ephemerate it, get back Counterspell, then cast Mold Drifter. All right, so we got all this stuff, and we have the mana for triple counterspell open. So let's just go to combat, swing with all these flying creatures. So we're going to get there. It's just going to take a while, and then we have to win with clock still. And this is going to take too long, so let's just discard, discard that. All right, triple counterspell. First day of class, counter. Cast Dark Dweller Goblin. Sure, that's fine. All right, so target Archaeomancer to blink. Then we blink, get back Ephemerate. This triggers and flips over. Play this tapped, then let's just go to combat and swing with all these flyers. Swing, 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 swing. So our opponent's dead in one turn, and we have a bunch of counters open. Does this version of the deck have a mill win con? I feel like there were some decks with Ar Archaeo loops, but I'm not as well versed with familiars. It does not. You just win with flying creatures. Skirt Prospector. Sure, that resolves. First time on the stream. Love your vids. Thank you, sir. Mira de Maxima. First day of class, counter. Sacks a guy to the Skirk. First day of class, counter. Is that all the first day classes? Yeah, that's all the first day classes in the graveyard. Black. Unearth on Putrid Goblin. Sure. Rakdos Carnarium, bounce a land. All right, back to us. Go to combat, swing with the flying team. Swing, 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 swing. All right, we got game one. So game two, let's see. We need to bring Hydroblast in. We need to bring in the counter spells. Dust to Dust actually seems pretty good here. Prismatic Strands can counter their combo, right? Kind of. Nature's Chant. They run a lot of artifact lands and like, so this seems fine. This All of this seems fine. The stuff that doesn't seem fine is the stuff that's just incredibly slow. Like Snap does nothing to them. Uh, let's see what else. Some of these draw spells are probably just too slow in this map. God Pharaoh's Faithful is like literally irrelevant because they just combo kill. Destroy Evil does nothing. Let's cut that. Uh, let's see. I can probably cut one of the Archaeomancers, one of the Mole Drifters. Let's cut uh, two Ponders and then we're good, right? How many decks are on the popper wheel? 39, although some of those are multiple decks grouped into one category. So like the three different versions of fairies are just one entry. All right, let's do that. All right, on the draw, this looks acceptable. We go turn one, land, cycle for planes, turn two, land, hold up counter spells, slash last breath. Skirk, prospector. All right, well, never mind. I'm just going to preordain. It's probably better to just guarantee that I have lands, right? I guess I guarantee that I have lands with preordain. All right, let's preordain. I mean, I don't guarantee it. All right, let's just bottom both of those because I want to draw. Hmm, these are both good. All right, let's top both of them. Over to them. And then we can hold up Counterspell slash Last Breath. Or no, we can't hold up Last Breath. We can hold up Counterspell. All right, we take one from Skirk. Sure. This one, go. Two mana, counter that. Yeah, counter that. Plays Rakdos Carnarium, bounces a land. Play Skirk. All right, well, we need to hit lands. So let's cycle this, grab a Planes, play the Planes, play Sunscape or just kill this thing. Let's just play Sunscape. Over to them. Uh, they do have four mana, so I guess they can technically combo right now if they play. No, they can't. They're one short, right? I guess they're not short if they unearth this. They have to have unearth plus first day. Pl okay, I guess they just do have it. Introduction to Prophecy entered the hand. All right, so they bring that back. And then do they exactly have makeshift munitions? All right, so they just make a bunch of mana. Scry two draw. All right, well, they just have it. I'm not going to make them play through it. I guess I should have just last breathed Skirk Prospector. Learning Popper. Learning Popper. All right, run it back. They need to present a win con. That's eh, fine. The win con's makeshift. Yeah, so on the play, uh, we have only one land, so maul this. This is better. All right, keep this hand, and then what am I putting back? Probably dust to dust this hand. Don't counter the goblins, only first day of class matters. So keep this, put this back, done. I'm just going to cycle Lorian Revealed to grab the uh, dual land. Over to them. Plays a tap land. Cycle this, grab the dual. Over to us. Land, play Modern Age. Trigger, draw. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of Preordain. Over to them. Second land. Putrid Goblin. Over to us. Draw. Discarding. Ephemerate. Can they win on this board? They need to go land first day of class Skirk. They can win on this board. So I need to hold up at least one mana for Hydroblast. Hmm. I would really like to get this other Modern Age in play, but I just can't, right? Yeah, so let's just pass. All right, they attack us. We go to 18. Third land. No plays from them. All right, back to us. This thing flips. Let's play another modern age three mana rowan search shirt that's fine 
they bargained nothing for it. So trigger this, draw a card, get rid of this, play Chancery, pick up an island, over to them. Still Hydroblast is open. Duress. Well, they get to take Hydroblast now, so that's unfortunate. Takes Hydroblast, Skirk Prospector. We can't answer anything that they're doing anymore. All right, I guess they don't have the mana for it, though, so we're good. Okay, so trigger, draw. Well, let's discard Deep Analysis. So land... I can flash this back and then still have mana for counter spell. So I can also just play Archaeomancer and get back Hydroblast slash Ephemerate. Let's just wait on that until I have more mana. So deep analysis here. Tap this to the mana. All right. I can exile one of these, but I just hold up counter spell at this point. All right. Uh, swing here. Attacking with Preacher Goblin. Sure, that hits us. Nile Spell Bomb. Probably just have to let that resolve, unfortunately. Yeah, that resolves. All right, end of turn. Since I'm not doing anything else, let's just last breath the Skirk Prospector. At least get that off the table. All right, they obviously sacrifice it, so it's available to unearth. Okay, so uh, this flips over. So our Chaomancer's kind of dead right now. I have six mana available. So attack with the Flyers. Swing, swing. Or just swing with this one. This one just flipped over. Hmm. I probably just evoke Mole Drifter, right? So let's play Ash Barons and let's evoke this to these ones. Trigger... Draw for Mole Drifter. All right, Mole Drifter dies. At least that's more mana. Back over to them. Not countering anything except first day of class. Plays a tap land. Duress. Well, unfortunate. Yeah, sure. That resolves. They take counter spell. Red Blast, one of our guys. Dur and then Unearth Skirk back into play. All right, they only have one card with another draw and then Nile Spell Bomb. So if they're doing that, it means they just don't have anything right now and they just need to not lose. All right, back to us. We drew Hydro Blast, which is excellent. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Play this. Lorien revealed. This one, this one, this one, this one. All right, draw three. I guess I'm technically not winning the race right now, so I just, I just shouldn't attack until I am winning the race. All right, back over to them. This is tap an untapped white creature, right? Goblin Matron. Okay. I guess it can go grab another Putrid Goblin. Yeah, that's fine. Trigger, what do you get? Dark Dweller Oracle. I will counter that if they play that. All right, back to us. Ghostly Flicker. Land so I can go Archaeomancer, and then they'll pop Nile Spellbomb, right, in response. So this one, this one, this one, this one. Cast Archaeomancer. Trigger targeting Ephemerate. Pops the Nile Spellbomb, sure. I could flicker this in response to get it back, but what's the point? All right, so that fizzles out, and then let's just keep passing here. I'm probably going to flicker both of these because I need to draw more cards. Putrid Goblin, sure. Plays a land. We know they have a Dark Dweller in hand. All right, end of turn, target these. So flicker both of these guys. Trigger, get this back. Draw, discard, Chancery. Resolve this. Then draw, loot, discarding, strands. Land, play another Modern Age. Trigger, discarding, huh. I am running out of time here. All right, let's just discard. How much do I have Lorien revealed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can still hold up Counterspell. All right, discard this. I don't have much time to actually get going here, so tap this one, this one, this one, this one. Draw some cards. I've played a land this turn. Pass to them. All right, I'll counter that. Try to counter Dark Dweller, because that's just going to let them find too many cards. First day of class is the exact last card in their hand. I guess they get to make infinite mana, and then they have the ability to scry to and draw. They do have to actually find the munitions. Unearth Dark Dweller. All right, and now the Dark Dweller can find everything else. Yeah, all right, they got it. What could I have done on my turn? Just not cast Lorien Revealed, and then I would have been able to hold up Hydro Blast plus Counterspell. I felt like they were, like, low on cards, and I just needed to, to win the game in the time I had left. All right, they got it. So they'll just get, turn through their deck until they find the win con. All right, I am 0-2 right now, but I am learning the play patterns. What windows you can allow them to cast things, what windows you can't, what you need to counter, what you don't need to counter. Uh, only one land. Let's mold this. This this deck is also incredibly slow. It's just so incredibly slow. This hand kind of sucks, right? I No, I guess I can Ash Baron's Lorien Revealed. All right, so keep this, and then Archaeomancer is probably the least relevant card here. So Ash Baron's, play that, pass to them, and then we'll just cycle Lorien Revealed. This deck has really fallen off lately, way too slow. It does feel incredibly slow. White, oh, Mono White Heroic, okay. So Laguna Van Trailblazer, let's cycle this for an island. Back to us. All right, Island, Preordain. You can float mana, pick up the Barons, and cycle it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Godfrey's Faithful might be relevant, although this creature probably gets too big to matter anymore. I guess both of these are probably good, although I need to find answers to this, right? I do have as much mana as I need. Uh, let's let's actually just get rid of the Faithful and keep Lorien Revealed. 
And then over to them. I might have to cycle Lorien Revealed as well. I'm not sure. I might also just have to evoke Moldrifter. Second land, Cartouche to Solidarity. Becomes a 1-5, make a 1-1. One, one. Oh, become a 2-6, right? Because this thing gives plus one. All right. We take two, we go to 18. Plays Vault Scourge. I probably just don't have time to cast this, right? Let's just cycle it now. Make sure we have untapped lands. Uh, I don't have time to cast Counterspell either. So let's just play this and evoke Moldrifter. Trigger, draw cards, then this dies off, and then back to them. So I can snap this. All that glitters. I'm definitely snapping that. Holy crap. 8, 9, 10. Go to 8. They do have one mana up, so I have to snap plus hold up Counterspell, right? In case this one card, they have like a protection spell for this. All right, so planes. Oh, wait, no, I needed to play a different land. I was thinking about like playing Sunscape Familiar afterwards, but right, yeah, I need to do something different. Well, let's play Sunscape Familiar, and then I guess I wait till their upkeep? I don't know. Hmm, maybe I just do it now. All right, snap this. All right, they do have the protection spell. That's unfortunate. Emerge unscathed. Oh, and then we're just dead. It's pro colors. So let's give it pro white. All right, we're dead. Obviously, she should have played an island there. Okay, um, last breath. Not sure what else I'm supposed to bring in. Fog doesn't seem great. Probably just these counter spells, right? I guess Nature's Chant, because it gets rid of all that glitters, which is pretty important. Cut this. I probably don't even need three of these. God Pharaoh's Faithful. I imagine their creatures just get, like, way bigger than this, right? And so it doesn't matter too much whether I have Faithful or not. Let's cut that. But you gain the health, but they just kill us in multiple hits. Like, just a few hits. Keep the faithfuls. All right. What am I cutting, then? Expensive draw spells, mole drifter, ponders. Uh, hmm, what else? One of these? Let's see. They run the artifact lands and vault scourge. I don't know how useful these are. This deck needs murmuring mystic or something. Hmm. I'm going to try this, I think. All right. Um, I guess I could preordain for another land. This hand really doesn't feel very good, although it maybe can be good if I... All right, I'll keep it and then just preordain and only keep lands. Keep in mind they can blank ephemerate by giving your creature protection. All right, land, preordain. All right, well, neither of those are lands, so let's bottom those. Over to them. Ancient Den into Vault Scourge. Man, this land sucks. All right, Ash Barons, Modern Age. Trigger, uh, can't bin a land. Let's discard Ghostly Flicker. All right, discard that. Over to them. Second land, Sentinel Eyes. Hits us for two, sure. Trigger this, drawing and discarding, faithful, doesn't do really much of anything here. Um, can't actually really do anything, so let's float, chancery, trigger, pick up ash barons, and then just cycle this for another island. All right, over to them. I don't think I'm going to have time to play this either, so I'm probably just going to cycle that, and I can get it back anyway. Ethereal armor, well, do we need to find an answer to this at some point. So take some damage here. All right, let's cycle this for another land. This flips over and is at least a blocker for a turn. And I could hold up Counterspell, but I think I just don't have the time to do that. So I probably need to get this going. All right, play Archaeomancer. And what am I getting back? Probably Preordain. It's the cheapest card I can use to fight and try to find an answer. So let's get back Preordain. All right, pass to them. Swing. I think I just don't block this, right? Because I'm only taking four and this can potentially get even bigger. Although there's the potential that they suit it up and, like, give it pro blue, so... All right. They just didn't do anything? Sure. Um, preordain. Nature's Chant, absolutely. So let's top this one, bottom this one. And then I can nature. I can try to Nature's Chant this and then counter if they have a protection spell, although that potentially doesn't work either. So I maybe just wait another turn when I, when I have double counter spells open. So let's pass to them. Plays another land. All right, so block this. And then Ephemerate here. All right, trigger the Modern Age. Draw, discarding this, Chancery. All right, the blue mana fizzles out. Okay, back to us. Rebound, rebound on Archaeomancer. Trigger, get back Ephemerate. Then Modern Age triggers, we draw. Let's discard Faithful, because it's not relevant. Play a land. And then I probably just stop them on their upkeep and try to kill this thing. I have Destroy Evil and Nature's Chant and two counter spells. So they would have to have triple protection in order to keep it around all right i'll keep let's snap it actually let's snap last so let's go nature's chant to kill this all right in response emerge unscathed respond by countering this emerge unscathed again let's snap it they have triple protection eh? triple protection all right at least i burned out all their protection and i can try to kill it next turn as well all right well it's a six six i guess if they slap all that glitters or something on here we're dead sentinel eyes eight eight all right 
we're down to two. Okay, flip the modern age. Then let's pass back to their upkeep. All right, rebound trigger on the stack. Let's try to kill this thing. Destroy a creature that has whatever things. Destroy evil on your guy. All right, it died. Cool. Then this rebound fizzles out. Cast cat. Well, countering that really doesn't do much, so it resolves. They're going to put a bunch of sentinel eyes on it, I guess, now. That's also fine. I can just keep ephemerating and blocking it for no, like, they can't actually get through me. Sentinel eyes, sure. All right. Um, all right. Cycle this. Grab another island. Play the island. Back over to them. All right. So their turn. Laguna Van Trailblazer. Probably just keep them from having creatures on the board. So let's just counter that. Emerge unscathed. Have to counter that. So counter this thing. All right. Now they don't have any attacks, actually. All right. So now we have Ephemerate plus counter spell loop. So they can never actually do anything. Why don't they escape the other Sentinel Eyes? That would make their guy a 3 3. All right. End of turn. Ephemerate on the Archaeomancer. Trigger. Get back. Counter spell. Then untap, Ephemerate rebounds, rebound on Archaeomancer, then get back Ephemerate. All right, there's Snap, so let's just attack them. Swing. And now we can very, 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 very slowly kill them. Combat. All right, end of turn, snap your cat, then untap the land, then Ephemerate on Archaeomancer, trigger, get back another counter spell, then this rebounds, target Archaeomancer. All right, get back, Ghostly Flicker. Or if ephemerate, either one works. All right, they have conceded here. So, um, is Prismatic Strand's good here? Like, can buy me a turn, right? I feel like God Pharaoh's Faithful is just not good. It really can't block things very well. The life gain that it gives you is minor and doesn't negate a creature with a huge power level. So let's just not even play that. Let's play Strands and then just more things that draw cards, right? Uh, some of these. All right, let's do that. All right, the only land in our hand is Azorius Chancery, so we're mulling this. Okay, this hand is really bad because all we've got is Lorien Revealed. I don't think I can keep a hand that just doesn't interact in any way with my opponent. So let's mull that. All right, I guess I'm keeping this hand and then putting what back? An Archaeomancer and I have to put back another card. I'm on the draw. This might not even be able to go off. All right, let's cut that. Planes. Plane of Alt Scourge. All right, well, Island go. Attacking us with the Vault Scourge, we go to 19. They play Deft Blade Elite. Provoke two mana, prevent all combat damage that we've dealt to and dealt by it this turn. All right, well, I drew an island, so that's very helpful. I don't know what to do here. I probably snap now while, they, while their shield's down and then just counter whatever they play. Because next turn, I'm not even guaranteed to be able to do anything. I guess this is harder to block than this thing. Although this can force us to block them. Hmm. Actually, I'm just going to pass and hold Counterspell up because there's the possibility I can snap with Chancery next turn. Although, again, we get blown out by protection. Combat. Swing. All right. 17. It looks like they're stuck on one land. Sacred Cat. I probably have to start interacting. I can't just... Yeah, all right. So let's snap. Yeah, all right. Fine. That resolves. Okay. So float an island. Hmm. Do I do that or do I just play a Moldrifter? No. All right. So float. Zorius Chancery. Trigger. Put the tapped one back in my hand, then snap this one, untap these lands, and evoke Moldrifter. I just don't have the time to wait to do this. Drawing, snap, and a land. All right. Well, back to them. Plays Hyena Umbra here. They're still missing their second land. All right, so go to 15, back to us. All right, so island, uh, float here, then snap the Vault Scourge, untap these lands, and then... Tap this and this, cast Archaeomancer, get back a snap, and back to them. Well, they finally found their second land, and they shamefully have mismatched planes. All right, replay Vault Scourge. And then they didn't bother to play their Death Blade, so I assume they're holding up Protection. Hmm. So if I cycle Ash Barons for a planes, then I get to hold up Ghostly plus Counterspell. No, not quite. All right, so let's just play an Island and then pass to them. They go to Combat, attack us with Vault Scourge, sure. We go to 13. Plays Deathblade Elite. Probably just counter that, right? Although they can maybe give my own Archaeomancer a thing. I don't know. It's tough. Provoking only matters if they suit it up with an aura. Yeah, sure, that resolves. All right, let's snap the Vault Scourge back to their hand. Snap. Untap these. Uh, Ewing Ghostly Flicker here doesn't matter, so let's cycle Ash Barons and go grab a Plains. And then draw Prismatic Strands. Well, that's not helpful. So back to them, I guess. Ethereal Armor. All right, we got to counter that. So counter this. Laguna Band Trailblazer. Sure, that resolves. We really need to draw a draw spell here. All right, back to our turn. We still can't really do anything. So back to them. Plays Deathblade Elite. Sure. 
No attacks from them, no effects from them. All right, back to us, finally. All right, play the modern age. Draw, D oh, ephemerate, finally. All right, discard prismatic strands over to them. All right, now we can actually start looping some stuff. End of turn, white, beckon apparition, exile this thing. All right, ephemerate. Actually, let's ghostly flicker. So tap, 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 flicker, get back prismatic strands. So we de facto counter this, that fizzles out. And then I'm just gonna ephemerate this now and get that counter spell just in case. All right, third land, emerge unscathed target there. Yeah, that's fine. Emerge unscathed, becomes a 1-5, it's pro blue. All right, they get in for a whole one damage from this thing. Swing, provoking this very well. So I have to block this, which is fine. All right, we take three and we kill one of their creatures. I'm fine with that. Back to us, rebound on the Archaeomancer. So hit Archaeomancer, trigger, get back Ephemerate. All right, Modern Age trigger, discard this crappy land. Let's cast Preordain. All right, two lands to the bottom, draw, Lorien Revealed. Not going to use that yet. Uh, just pass to them. Merge, Unscathed, Rebound, that's fine as well. Yeah, I'll take two from the Lagona Band Trailblazer this turn, that's fine. Trigger, yep, pro blue. Shield of Duty and Reason has pro green and blue. Sure, swing with that, can't block it, take three, go to seven. Plays Vault Scourge, probably have to counter that. So let's make sure that Ephemerate resolves first. Actually, no, I don't have to counter that, I can just kill it. Yeah, all right, Vault Scourge resolves. All right, end of turn, Ephemerate here. Trigger, get back, snap. And then while we're still in the end of turn, let's kill Vault Scourge with the Nature's Chant. All right, so rebound on the Archaeomancer, get back Ephemerate, then Modern Age flips over. Cool, we've got a Sunscape Familiar, let's play that. And then we can just pass here. Combat, swing with Laguna Band. Yeah, all right, that's fine. We take three, go to four. Plays another Vault Scourge, that is fine. End of turn, Ephemerate on Archaeomancer. Trigger, get back, nature's chant, or yeah. Okay, then untap and draw. Rebound on Archaeomancer, get back, ephemerate. We drew another snap. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just pass to them. Combat, swings with that thing. Let's nature's chant the shield. All right, float this, snap the Lagona Band Trailblazer. They've got three cards in hand. Cast Benevolent Blessing, Enchanted Creature, Enter the field, choose a color, pro that color. All right, counter that. All right, they have conceded. We won a match. So yeah, it's gonna take a, a bit of getting used to Popper. Again, as a reminder, I only played Popper maybe for like a week or two back in, oh, when would it have been? Maybe like 2018 or something. So I'm just like completely unfamiliar with the format other than what research I did to make the Popper videos. All right, we're back on the play for match four. Uh, no lands, mole. All right, this is, I guess, acceptable, although it's super slow. What am I putting back in this hand? Probably this thing. I'm playing it completely off curve, if I'm even playing it. All right, opponent moles to five. All right, island and pass. Gingerbread cabin. All right, well, Azorius Chancery picked this up. Back to them. Forest. Don't know what this is. That's three Sunscape Familiars. All right, so land, Sunscape Familiar. Play the Modern Age. Trigger, discarding... Honestly, the land at this point, maybe, maybe snap. I don't have any idea what my opponent's doing. All right, let's just, no, no, I want to keep snap. All right, let's cut, let's discard. What am I doing next turn? Sunscape familiar, evoke this for one mana, snap it. All right, discard sunscape familiar. Over to them. End of turn, cycle generousent, getting forest. Three mana, axe Bane guardian. All right, walls, trigger modern age, discard this thing. So this, float. I need to pay double white for this. So play sunscape familiar, and then... Evoke Mole Drifter, triggers, draw two cards, and then while it's still on the stack, snap it back to my hand, untap these two, and then do I just hold up Counterspell? I'm not sure. They I, they get to untap with four plus mana. This is probably the only window I have to start casting things before they just go nuts, right? So let's do this. Let's evoke. I guess I can just straight up hard cast this, right? All right, let's hard cast it. Hard cast Mole Drifter, trigger, draw some more cards. And then pass to them. I'm assuming that this is the last turn that I can afford to go shields down. And then from then on, I have to go shields up for the rest of the game. Plays lead the stampede. Hits five creatures. Wow. All right. So really caretaker. Tap for another two. Plays overgrown battlement. All right. Well, that was quite the turn. This thing flips over. Uh, let's see. What does this thing do? ETB search for a creature with defender. 
So I have to counter Valakut Invoker so that they don't have an infinite mana payoff. So that being the case, I'm just missing blue sources right now. That's the problem. Hmm. I'm going to draw an absolute boatload of cards. So I don't need to hold on to Lorien Revealed. So I can just cycle the Lorien Revealed. So I probably just hold up Interaction and then... Yeah, all right. So Beachfront, then attack with this Mole Drifter, and then just pass to them. So they make a gigantic amount of mana. Shield Wall Sentinel... What creature with Defender do I need to stop? They're just gonna like, yeah, hey, that's fine, sure. Tutor for another Defender, grabbing Tuk Tuk Rubble Fort, sure. Mana, 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 Tuk Tuk Rubble Fort, yeah, that's fine, sure. Bunch of mana, just waiting on combo pieces. Shield Wall Sentinel again, sure. Trigger, gets another Axebane Guardian. Well, if I counter this, they at least don't have more mana this turn, although they make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right now. I know three of the cards in their hand are unknowns. Yeah, all right, Axebane resolves. Tap for a bunch of mana. Just gotta counter the combo pieces. Another Shield Wall Sentinel, sure. Trigger, oh, are we just gonna go? Drift of Phantasms, casts Pilgrim. So they're gonna use this to tutor up Galvanic or something. All right, end of turn, let's flicker these two. So mana, flicker these two. I just need to draw cards right now and just find more answers. Trigger, trigger, draw two cards, loot. Discard a crappy land that I don't need. Uh, let's see, we're still in the end step. So let's cycle the Ash Barons. Go grab an island. Do I need to cycle this Lorien Revealed? I don't think so. All right, untap, trigger, loot again. Let's loot away Deep Anal. So play an island. Man, they have so much mana. All right, so they're going to transmute Drift for their combo piece and we have to counter that. But they still have tons and tons of mana even after that. So we also have to counter Valakut Invoker. So I need to find another counter spell. So let's flashback Anal. Hmm. Well, I'm going to be short on blue mana regardless of what I do, right? Hmm. I see more cards with Moldrifter than anything else. So tap this. Evoke Moldrifter. Trigger. All right. Moldrifter dies. Yeah, I'm just gonna not going to have the time for Lorien. So Island Cycle this. Grab an Island. We have nine cards in hand. I have to hold up Counterspell. So, I don't know. Combat. Swing with this Moldrifter. Oh, yeah. This thing has reach. Sure. Uh, planes discard. Discarding. I have to discard two cards, right? So, discard Modern Age or just Lorien Revealed. Probably just Modern Age. Well, I'm going to grab another island with this Lorien Revealed. So, let's just discard an island. All right. Another land. Make a bajillion mana. Transmute. Galvanic Alchemist. All right. We're countering that. Counterspell this. But they still have... 10 oh they have another one all right freed from the real well they have infinite mana now and then we just die to invoker so let's concede okay uh let's see these guys are completely worthless destroy evil can't actually it can kill freed so i guess it's useful in that regard uh what do i need nature's chant for freed from the real more counter spells more counter spells um what else last breath hmm cut ponders maybe or just more expensive cards. Lorien. Modern Age doesn't really matter much, right? We lose. It's our most expensive card that we see the least cards with. All right, I'll cut that. Submit. So we're on the play. Uh, we're missing white mana, but otherwise this is fine. Keep. If they resolve freed from the real, they can just make infinite mana before nature's chant resolves. Probably, but not necessarily. All right. Preordain. Need white mana. Well, I'll keep mold drifters, I guess. All right. Let's keep the mold drifters and then over to them. And then we're just going to play Modern Age and cycle away stuff we don't need. Forest, it's a really caretaker. Land, Modern Age, Trigger, Discarding, Deep Analysis. Over to them, plays Quirion Ranger. Tap both of these, play another Cerulean Caretaker. Bounce, untap, play land again. Tap, 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 Overgrown Battlement. All right, loot. Man, we're just not hitting lands, eh? Oh, what am I discarding? I'm gonna say, hmm, do I have to do this? You may, no, I don't. All right, let's discard one of the two Mole Drifters. And then let's snap Battlement back to their hand, untap my islands, play this, don't use it, and then back to them and we'll counterspell the Battlement. Tap, tap. Yeah, counter that. All right. Land, untap, tap. Another one? Yeah, another one. All right, this flips over. We drew an island. That's not great. Huh. I get Flashback Deep Analysis. All right, let's do that. Flashback Deep Analysis. Draw some cards. We drew a bunch of lands. That's awful. All right, play Modern Age. Trigger, discard a land. Back to them. All right, they're untapping with a lot of mana, so we'll see what happens. Shield Wall Sentinel, go fetch up Axebane Guardian, which they can play. 
Yeah, untap Overgrown Battlement, play this again, tap, play Axebane, plays this thing to give them protection, and another Quirion Ranger. All right, our opponent has 10 million mana. Loot, discarding Island. Psycho Ash Barons, let's go grab a Plains. We just don't have any interaction, so play this, play Sunscape Familiar, pass Ponder. All right, so what can I snap? Nothing really, right? Axebane Guardian's just gonna come back. Even if I snap, they have this thing to give it protection. So the best card I can put in my hand is Negate to potentially negate Freed from the Reel. So this one, this one, this one, no shuffle. And then I guess I can technically attack them, right? All right, swing with Vector Glider and then just back to them. Bunch of mana, plays lead the Stampede. Well, let's counter that. Well, they just have the Drift of Phantasms in their hand anyway. So then they transmute for Freed from the Reel and we're dead. Although... They make infinite mana, they do need an actual payoff for it, right? Which could be the last card in their hand, I suppose. Transmute Drift of Phantasms. All right, we're dead. Well, that was kind of ridiculous. They just had everything. On to round five. All right, we're on the play for the final match. Um, well, this hand is missing white mana, but we do have turn two counterspell turn... Well, we have turn two counterspell. I'm going to keep. We just need to find basically any draw spell in our deck that's filled with draw spells. All right, Island go. Forest plays Retopia Sprawl on white. All right, Island Go plays another Forest. Probably countering anything they play right now. They're not playing anything. All right, then. Well, let's preordain. Okay, don't want either of these. So bottom both of these. Drawing another Ephemerate. All right, then. Back to them. Glade Cover Scout. Probably need to counter that. So let's do that. Plays another land. Plays Silhana Ledgewalker. All right, so this is Boggles. All right, then. Okay, time to actually draw a card that matters. Well, let's play our Chaomancer. Let's get back Preordain and over to them. I can't block this, right? It's pseudo flying. All that glitters. 6 4, Rancor. All right, well, we're dead in three hits. So take some damage. Cast Preordain. All right, well, there's a Plains. So top that, bottom the Ash Barons. Draw Plains, play Plains. Don't really know what to do now. I can ephemerate this and get counterspell back to potentially counterspell another aura that they play to survive one turn, but then we're just dead after that. I guess that's what I'm doing. Well, I can't block this thing anyway, so I may as well attack them. All right, they're at 19. Two mana, ethereal armor. All right, well, ephemerate our guy. Trigger, get back, counterspell, counterspell this. All right, they don't have another aura. We take nine, we go to two. And I'm not really sure what I can do at this point. Slippery boggle, sure. Rebound, rebound on Archaeomancer. Archaeomancer into Preordain, because I need to find an answer. All right, we drew a land. Preord mm, um, I can't possibly gain enough life to where that matters, so Preordain. Snap doesn't matter. Beachfront doesn't matter. Bottom, bottom. Drawing, Ponder. All right, cast Ponder. Uh, none of that matters. Hmm. Just none of this matters, right? There's nothing in our main deck that can even deal with this, right? We're just dead. Yeah, we may as well just concede. All right, concede. All right, so Prismatic Strands, so we can survive a hit. Uh, Pro Blue doesn't do anything. Last Breath doesn't do anything. Dust to Dust doesn't do anything. Hydro Blast, no. So Negate Counterspell, Nature's Chant. Uh, let's see. Faithful can potentially keep us from dying if we can set up a loop where we're gaining a bunch of life. And this matters. So what doesn't matter? I think Faithful probably doesn't matter for the most part. Let's just cut it. And that leaves us with two cuts. Is this too slow? Seems slow. Let's cut that. All right. Uh, we have Bounce Land, so mull this. Okay, that's acceptable. Keep and get rid of... Hmm. I'm going turn one Preordain, then probably turn two Sunscape Familiar, and then turn three of Counterspell up. I really don't want to get rid of Lorien Revealed. I guess I can get rid of Ash Barons, and we basically do the same thing. All right, let's get rid of Ash Barons. Land, Preordain, another Sunscape Familiar, and Ephemerate, which are both cards that I want in this matchup, I suppose. Although that means I'm missing a land drop if I don't go further than this. So let's bottom Ephemerate and then I probably just need to bottom both. All right, there's an island. Over to them. Tap land. Back to us. Drew Ponder. All right, let's just run out Sunscape Familiar right now. I'm not just going to hold up Counterspell. So much better to just get Familiar out. And I don't think there's anything I absolutely have to Counterspell from them on turn two. Glade Cover Scout. Ethereal Armor. Okay. Drawing. Nature's Chant. Excellent. Most excellent. Um, we can just hold both open. Let's just hold both open. Back to them. Another ethereal armor. Well, I'm countering that. Get out of here, ethereal armor. Rancor. Okay. Plays another tap land. All right. Well, let's nature's chant the armor. And then we'll take three and go to 17. 
Another Lorien revealed. Well, hmm. All right, ponder. Three cantrips in a row. Let's just, hmm. Yeah, let's just shuffle. Drawing a land. Well, let's go ahead and island cycle. And I'm not doing anything else, so let's put beachfront into play. Play beachfront. And then I'm just going to cycle this Ash Barons and then cast Lorien revealed next turn. All that glitters. Well, we're taking a lot. All right, seven. Go down to ten. Opponent plays another Glade Scout. All right, cycle this. Go grab an island. We draw into Archaeomancer. So I can Archaeomancer back the Nature's Chant and blow up all that glitters, which seems like probably the best move right now. All right, let's do that. Archaeomancer, get back, Nature's Chant, blow up glitters, and over to them. Attacking with both. I'll trade with the, the Trample one, I guess. Or do I even do that? Because then they get the Rancor back, right? Let's just block here. All right, we're at seven. Apparently, they don't have any auras because they would have put them on ahead of time. Silhana, another land. All right, back to us. Mole Drifter. I can evoke it for two mana, and then if I find a Blink spell, or I can just play it. It costs four mana to play it, and then I have one open. It also costs four mana to play Lorien Revealed, but I see more cards off Lorien Revealed. Hmm. All right, let's cast Lorien. Another land, Modern Age, Ponder. Man, these Ash Barons suck so much. They're s they suck so much. All right, let's ponder, I guess. What am I even doing if I do that? I guess let's just get Modern Age out, whatever. Modern Age, trigger, get rid of Ash Barons. All right, back to them. All right, I can't block this, but I also need to not take 10 million damage. But if I block this, then they just move Rancor here, and then I really can't... I guess I can block it next turn with uh, Mold Drifter, right? All right, let's block here then. And then I can't block this, right? Yeah. So I'll trade there. The Rancor comes back. We save some life that way. So Rancor back to their hand, and they can Rancor the Silhana, and then we can Mold Drifter to block this next turn. All right, Modern Age trigger. Drawing Ghostly Flicker. What am I getting rid of? So I'm definitely casting Mold Drifter, and I need it to stay in play, right? So it's two mana to evoke this, and then it's two mana to cast Ghostly Flicker. Snap seems basically useless, although maybe not. I do need to hold up Counterspell as well, so I can counter any other aura they give. So that means I get rid of Ponder. All right, so Ditch Ponder. And then we go evoke this guy, tap this and this, triggers, put that, second, draw two cards. Ooh, Prismatic Strands is a good draw. All right, so Ghostly Flicker, this, and a land, and then tap two. So it comes back, we draw cards, then that resolves, and then we get to hold Counterspell up and maybe something else. So back over to them, another land. Sacrifice, put two plus one counters on a creature, activate as a sorcery. Not sure why they wouldn't just do that immediately. All right, well... End of turn, if they're not doing anything, do I just destroy evil this Rancor? And then it just comes back to their hand. I guess not. All right, let's untap. Modern Age flips over. So have to keep Counterspell up. Probably have to keep up another spell. So let's just cycle this and make sure just we just keep hitting land drops. So play land. And then let's just pass back to them. Well, so, okay, so they cave here and it's a 5-3. And then we can like blow up Rancor, block it, or just Prismatic Strands. All right, that's fine. All right, I think we win this game. We just have... It's just going to take a bit to get there. Another Rancor. Um, yeah, probably do have to, probably do have to block that. I guess I can always just Prismatic Strands name green, and then when they attack, we just double block here. Prevent all damage sources the color of your choice would deal this turn. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Rancor resolves. So now they're going to cave it. That's fine. No attacks. Hmm. All right. Well, Nature's Chant. That doesn't help here. If I play Archaeomancer, then I have... I tap these three... I still have three mana open, which still lets me cast Prismatic Strands slash Counterspell. What am I getting back with Archaeomancer? Just, like, Ghostly Flicker or something? I think I just keep passing here. All right, just keep passing. What score are we? We are uh, one and three. Utopia Sprawl, sure. Name's red. Name's red? So do they have Pyroblast? All right, still no attacks from them. Sure. Back to me. Flaring Pain. All right, well, I need to play something. Actually, I'm just gonna disc I'm just gonna pass and discard prismatic strands. Just no reason to be cocky. Let's just make sure that we don't lose this. Alright, discard prismatic strands. Goes to combat. No attacks. Alright, back to us. Another counter spell. Alright, let's cast our Chaomancer. Trigger, get back, flicker, and then cleanup step. We're gonna discard probably the other Archaeomancer. I'm not sure though. Hmm, maybe one of the two snaps can go. Alright, let's get rid of snap. Opponent casts Armadillo Cloak. So let's see. I need Counterspell up in case they cast Flaring Pain, right? This blocks five damage. No, because if, if they attack here, then I have to respond, right? So I do have to counter this. All right, counter that. 
Is Flaring Pain an instant? Ancestral Mask. All right, that's fine. Swing. All right, so Nature's Chant, get rid of the mask. Then go to blocks, block here, block here. Damage, we take two, their guy dies. They get the Rancors back. All right, land, Archaeomancer. Yeah, Archaeomancer. Trigger, get back a counter spell. And we basically have the game locked up now. So swing here. We have double counter spell, and we can start looping them with Ghostly Flicker. Opponent does nothing. All right, let's flicker both of these. Trigger, trigger. This one gets back the flicker. This one gets back um, Lorien Revealed. So get these back. Flicker again. Trigger, trigger. Get back flicker. Get back another Lorien. All right, cycle Lorien Revealed. Grab an island. Play an island. Combat. Swing here. Plays a land. All right, end of turn. Cycle. Grab a land. Flicker, trigger, trigger, get back flicker, get back Lorien revealed, then cycle Lorien revealed, grab the last island out of our deck, flicker both of these guys, trigger, get back ghostly flicker, get back um, ponder, I don't know, preordain, ponder, ponder, bump, bump, and then we take our turn, land, let's just cast a mole drifter, trigger, all right, go to combat, swing here. All right, end step, uh, clean up, discard Chancery, and uh, I don't know, Ponder or something. Preordain. I have to discard another card, Ponder. All right, our opponent just plays a land. I think we're good at this point. So play a land, go to combat, swing here. I mean, we can just counter any creature they play, which is clearly what they're waiting for. Uh, Mortuary. Oh, I've played a land this turn. All right, yeah, pass to them. So let's just win now. Which of the top decks you beat with familiars? Is it good against burn and mono blue, for instance? You have annoying blockers and generally go over the top of opponents. I don't know, because this is my first time playing Popper in multiple years. All right, ghostly flicker these two on end step. Get back the flicker, get back, um, snap. All right, play Mortuary Mire. Does this have any targets? I guess it does. Get back, uh, Mole Drifter. Combat, swing, and then let's go cast Mole Drifter with Evoke, trigger, Draw the cards. All right, that can die. It's fine. Then let's play Sunscape Familiar. And then let's cast Mole Drifter for three. Trigger draw. I've played a land. All right. End turn. Discard Chancery. Snap. Cast Slippery Boggle. Counter. Cast Ohana. All right, sure. Rancor. Rancor. Slippery Boggle. All right, end step. Ghostly Flicker. The two Archaeomancers. Trigger. Get back Ghostly Flicker. Trigger. Get back um, Nature's Chant, I guess. All right, Combat. Swing. Boggle blocks here. Sure. Damage. So I can just untap all my lands using Ghostly Flicker, right? Because I can flicker this and a land. No, because it cost me one to use it in the first place. So I can just untap all my creatures, basically. Or untap. Whatever, it's fine. Let's just, um, I can just go to end step. I can't see how we can possibly lose from this position. Clean up, discard a snap. Swing with Solhana. All right, Flicker, Archaeomancer plus Moldrifter. Triggers, get back Ghostly Flicker. So draw some cards, get back the Ghostly Flicker, Ghostly Flicker these two, trigger, trigger, get back Ghostly Flicker, uh, draw some cards, and then we block this guy. So dual block this thing. May as well kill the Rancors while we're at it. Nature's Chant a Rancor. Just keep all, just keep our Mole Drifters alive. And destroy evil the other Rancor. All right, damage. So Hana dies. Plays Abundant Growth, sure. Cast a Rancor on our dude, okay? Cast a Rancor on our dude, all right. We're just having fun over here. Ethereal armor, our dude. Very well. All right, go to combat. Swing. Instant speed, flaring pain. Damage can't be prevented. Cool. All right. We won. Oh, that wasn't the match. We still have another game? Cool. Um, that was so long. That was such a long match. All right, run it back. Yeah, that's kind of my problem with Popper. Games take forever unless you're playing Cancer Aggro. Oh my god, the lands in this deck suck so much. All right, we're going to talk about that in a bit, but I can't keep this. This is just so slow. Mold this. Mold this. All right. Keep, put back, sunscape, snap, forest, slippery boggle. Okay, island, preordain. Um, modern age at least, like, finds more cards, I guess. So yeah, sure, I'll draw that. Back to them. Tapped land, plays rancor. All right, well, we're taking some damage here. As much as I would like to play the modern age right now, I don't think I can afford to not hold the gate open. All right, land, go. Abundant growth, sure. Triggers, plays another tap land. We take three from the boggle. Plays Glade Cover Scout. Yep. Prismatic Strands. All right. Preordain. Land, land. Hmm. Bottom this one. And man, this is awkward. All right. Top this one. Play another land. Go. Abundant Growth. Yep. Can't afford to counter that. Have to counter Glitters or Ethereal Armor or whatever. Well, we're taking four a turn. 
while they refuse to play anything because they don't have to actually commit any more pressure to the board. Plays another land. Plays another Glade Cover Scout. All right, back to us. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, play Modern Age. Trigger. Discard. Mortuary Mire because it sucks. And then play another land. And over to them. And we're taking... We're dead in two hits. So, I mean, we do have to find something. Sahana Ledgewalker. Can't respond to that. All right. Well, we take five. Uh, well... I need to just find white mana, right? So I don't actually want to cycle this. All right. Draw for turns, Lorien. Trigger Modern Age. Drew up. Finally, we drew the planes. Holy crap. All right. Get rid of Chancery. Play planes. Back to them. Plays another land. Tapping Armadillo Cloak. All right. Negate that. If the last card in their hand's flaring pain, we're dead. We're probably dead anyway. All that glitters. Sure. All right. Cast Strands. Name green. Then we're alive for one turn. What is our draw? Ash Barons. All right, we're dead. There's nothing we can draw that actually allows us to not lose. I guess, like, this can block, but this has Rancor on it, right? What could I even draw here for one mana? Uh, not Ephemerate, not a Cantrip. Yeah, nothing. We're dead. All right, so one and four. All right, Familiars. I guess, first of all, Popper in general. So, obviously, not too experienced with this format, like, at all. So, That'll improve as these leagues go on and I get more familiar with all the decks and how they operate. I feel like I've misplayed a little bit early on, but I don't think too badly. I don't know. You guys let me know. So thoughts on familiars. Um, This deck sucks really bad. Is it just me? Like, it's so bad. It's awful. First of all, oh my god, screw these lands so much. Why do we have all these lands that enter tapped? They're so bad. I would rather replace every single one of these lands with just more basic lands. I understand having the one of idyllic beachfront so that if you're missing white, you can Lorien tutor for it. But holy crap, like your colors really, really matter in this deck. You need colors like every turn. You always need like double blue for counter spell. You need to have white for Sunscape Familiar. You don't have the time to take off to cycle Ash Barons, to, to play Azorius Chance retap. Like these lands all suck. They're so bad. Uh, the rest of the deck. God Pharaoh's Faithful, this card's awful. Uh, it doesn't do it, it doesn't do anything. Even against aggro decks, like it doesn't matter. It's a zero four. It doesn't block and trade with any creature. It doesn't actually kill any creature. So they can just keep attacking you. So there's the aggro decks that go tall, where they just play like a really huge creature, which this doesn't help against because the minuscule amount of life you're gaining from it will not circumvent like mono white heroic or boggles or anything. And then the go wide decks. Oh, wow, you're blocking like a 1-1 one -one out of Koldatha Rebirth. And then they can also just bolt this thing. They can just, you block, and then they just bolt it, and then you don't gain any more life from it and have no blocker. So all these cards seem awful. And then the deck, like, doesn't have anything going on. Its only pieces of interaction are just counter spells, and they're just counter spells, and what else? Like, one of Destroy Evil. So there's three actual pieces of interaction main deck. I guess snap kind of counts, but it's just a bounce spell. And then the sideboard doesn't seem to clear much of that up either. Like, this deck really needs to be playing Holy Light or some other kind of sweeper. I don't know if there's, like, mass bounce in Popper, but it needs something like that. And Ghostly Flicker, oh, Ghostly Flicker, this card sucks too. Like, you have to have double Archaeomancer before it starts doing anything. Why is this deck that wants to be an Ephemerate loop with Archaeomancer not just running four Ephemerates? Like, it baffles, why is any deck that's running Ephemerate not just running four Ephemerates? I don't get it. Anyway, yeah, it seems so bad. Just so shockingly bad. Also, Brainstorm is legal in this format, and we have uh, three Lorien Revealed and three Ash Barons and Broker's Hideout. We have seven ways of shuffling our library, and we're not playing Brainstorm. All right, then. Older versions of the deck used to have Archaeomancer combos with the cost reduction to just win. I don't know why they stopped doing it. Yeah, so this deck just... Again, you know, it's my first match of Popper, but the deck felt really bad. Especially the lands in particular. The lands are just awful. Why is anyone playing these? I get it. Oh, you can snap and untap Azorius Chancery, and then you get one more mana. Is that worth, like, being off curve the whole game? I don't think it is. Mortuary Mire sucks too. Yeah. Just all these cards suck here. They're all bad. But anyways, that is Familiars.